Our story takes place in the near future. Aliens have begun visiting the planet in large numbers and for unknown reasons. Government leaders try to continue to keep alien existence a secret from their citizens for fear of inciting a global panic. Welcome to Watch the Skies, where you will assume one of the key roles within either a national government, a world media, or an alien faction. Working with your team, you will try to achieve your goals while balancing the effects of global politics. Events and conflicts happen simultaneously, so be prepared to experience a very fast-paced day. The first thing you will want to do as a player is to make sure you have a copy of the Watch the Skies Handbook. This handbook essentially is the rules of the mega game, and includes all the information that you will find in this video. A digital copy will have a full version of the rules, and several smaller manuals which correspond to different sections of the full rule set. Reviewing the handbook beforehand will really enhance your experience of the game itself, so it is highly recommended that you read at least the sections that pertain to you. Notice that the handbook is divided into several color-coded sections. Gray sections represent general information, or knowledge that every player should know about. This includes the turn overview, how to move around during the game, and the basics of game economy. The back of the book includes an appendix for gameplay and a handy glossary of terms, both of which you can refer to throughout the day of the game. The other color-coded sections of the book are specific to each of the nation's roles. These sections specific to roles will be covered in future videos. Be sure to check back and view the ones of interest to you. The rest of this video will focus on topics from general knowledge, or the gray areas of the handbook. The people running Watch the Skies are known as Control. They are there to help you with the rules, and help you interact with the aliens and the media. They keep the game on track, help when players are stuck, and they also play the other countries of the world that are not represented by the players. These are called non-player countries, or NPCs. As a national player, the choices you make will either calm or worry your citizens. Things like increased military attention, or even realizing that aliens actually exist might cause panic in your own country. In Watch the Skies, Control monitors the level of terror in each of the major regions of the world. A population's terror level can be viewed on one of the regional terror tracks. A value of zero on the terror track means that the citizens in that region are calm and at peace. As panic increases, the terror value for that region will also increase. Every 50 points will increase the terror level by one and a terror level of 5 means that the region is in anarchy and the governments collapse. So be sure to keep your terror levels low. The basic currency in Watch the Skies is the Mega Buck. This is not strictly a country's money, it is a value of everything your country produces natural resources, productivity, personnel, taxes, etc. Most things in the game cost mega bucks, so make sure that you have enough on hand to do what it is that you want. The main way to generate mega bucks is through a national income every turn. The amount you receive is based on your country's public relations or PR. The higher the PR for your country, the more favorable people look upon your country and patronize your goods and services. PR levels range from 0 to 8, and almost everything in the game has a direct effect on your PR. But there are a few main things that frequently affect them. Terror. Every increase in terror level results in minus 1 PR, due to the panic of the population. Military. Mobilizing troops, wars, and increases in military aggression will all negatively impact your PR. PR Rolls Each turn, the head of state will roll an 8-sided die to garner publicity to the country. 
If he fails to roll at or above his current PR level, he must pay the difference in megabucks or suffer a loss of one to PR. Media. Two consecutive turns of bad press by a media team will decrease your PR by one. However, two consecutive turns of good publicity by a media outlet will increase your PR by one. So be sure to get on the good side of the press. Science. Some technologies will advance your PR once they are researched and deployed. But there are also some technologies that decrease your PR as well. Remember, a country with a PR of zero receives no income. And if it stays at zero for a full turn, the government collapses. So make sure to keep an eye on your PR. Although each venue is different, there will always be some common areas in which the game operates. The first thing you will likely notice is the World Globe. It is usually in a centralized location and contains the large hollow globe of the world. This is the place where military commanders will meet during the game to move their troops and monitor the world activity. Adjacent to the World Globe area is the main area, home of the National Tables. Each nation in Watch the Skies will have a dedicated table assigned to it, identified by its national flag. This table is where your home base of operations is, and will be where other players and control will come if they need to interact with your nation. Media players will gather in an area for both of the media agencies, GNN and Badger News. Similar to the national tables for national players, each of the media corporations will have a dedicated table here for them, and it is the place for their teams to congregate and interact with the other players. Current news articles are written and published here. Another area of the venue will be dedicated to scientific research. Here, the head scientists from the nations will meet to conduct their research, collaborate, and attempt to advance knowledge and technologies for their nation. Science is the main way to combat the increasing global terror, so this area is critical to human success. One of the areas of the venue will be designated for the United Nations. UN ambassadors from each nation will meet here regularly during the game to discuss current world crises and direct plans of action to combat them. Regional terror tracks will highly depend on their success or failure. One area is intentionally segregated from the other areas of the venue. This area is designated as Outer Space, an area completely allocated for alien players and control. Alien players will spend most of their time in the game here. Human players are not allowed to venture into this area without an escort from control. After arrival, your team should begin coordination at your national table. What you will likely notice first is the national briefcase. You should open the national briefcase and identify what is inside. The national mats should be found there. These mats are maintained by heads of state and used to track the country's resources and PR level. In addition, it will show you what your country's bases are completing. The research lab is where your scientists will advance the research of new human or alien technology. The construction bay is where you will construct new satellites and space interceptor flights or SIFs. SIFs are the only ships capable of intercepting alien UFOs. The engineering bay is where you can repair or upgrade SIFs and base defenses. The hangar is where you house up to five of your SIFs when they are not in use. Also inside the briefcase are the military forces that your country will start with, including SIFs, which should be placed in your base hangars, some conventional forces, and agents. You will find your national briefing, which will tell you the goals that your country will be trying to achieve during the game, and possibly there will be a current World Crisis Report, which is information for the UN ambassadors to review and talk about in their first UN Security Council meeting. And lastly, there is a potential to find influence cards, research dice, or even some alien technology. 
Influence cards aid your country to influence non-player countries or NPCs. An influence card represents some combination of military, political, or economic influence that you can assert toward an NPC. These are used mainly by ambassadors and diplomats to counter direct threats to UN crises or to persuade NPCs to see things more aligned with your country's vision. Research dice are what scientists use to acquire new technology. These dice represent the quantity of research done in a period of time, so acquiring more dice means more resources allocated to research. These dice can be bought with megabucks or earned by scientists. Generally speaking, the more dice that you have, the more science can advance in a single turn. If your country were to get your hands on alien technology, and you are able to analyze it, you might be able to apply it for your own use. But the only way to acquire alien tech is by reappropriating it from the aliens, either by shooting down their spacecraft or receiving it as a gift. Once you get your hands on it, make sure you analyze it in your base's research lab and notify your scientists. Each turn of Watch the Skies represents three months for the world. Each turn is broken into three phases, and in each phase, all players resolve their actions simultaneously. The first phase of each turn is the Team Phase, and lasts approximately 10 minutes. In this phase, players report to their team area to give updates on activity from the previous turn, and no interaction with Control or other teams is allowed. By the end of the team phase, your budget for the rest of the turn should be allocated, meaning that each of the individual players should have the resources that they need to complete the turn. The second phase of each turn is the action phase, and lasts approximately 15 minutes. During the action phase, players interact with the section associated with their role. Normally, this means leaving your team area to interact with others. The UN ambassadors will head to the UN, Military commanders will gather at the World Globe, etc. The specific activities for each role can be found in the handbook and will be detailed in future videos. The final phase of the turn is called the free phase and will last approximately 15 minutes, but the faster you finish your action phase, the more time you will have for free phase actions. During the free phase, players may move about freely to discuss and plan with their team or with other teams. Use this time to find out what's going on in the press, to confirm rumors, and to make deals. When the free phase concludes, the turn ends and all players return to their team areas for a new turn. This begins with a new team phase. The game will end in one of several ways. Earth is destroyed. Global terror track reaches its max limit. Aliens achieve their secret objective. Or time runs out and control calls the game. Watch the Skies runs for about 12 turns, but can run longer. The exact endpoint is kept hidden to discourage last turn madness. Following the game, there will be a debrief where players will gather to share their experiences and some of the shared narratives. It is an informal chat where hidden information is revealed and many laughs are to be had. Many players and control feel that this is the best part of the experience, so be sure not to miss it. All humans can speak to all other humans freely. It is assumed that translation staff is available. But no human may talk to any alien without special permission. This is lifted once your team has decoded alien languages. Don't interrupt UN proceedings to talk to your teammates. Confer quietly with them only if necessary. It is recommended that one member of your team should be at your team's table at all times to greet others and handle any transactions with control. If control needs to communicate with your country and cannot locate a team member, they may decide to decree that communication gets lost. Be sure not to miss out. Don't forget about the media. The media team is influential in spreading news of your country's successes and failures throughout the game. They also have a key role in every country's PR levels, so you will want to get on their good side and even work them to your advantage if possible. 
Remember that everything in this game has a certain scale. One megabuck is not currency, it is bushels of corn, hours of labor, thousands of personnel all rolled up into one tangible quantity. Similarly, one ship on the world globe represents an entire fleet of people and ships and resources to run the operations for that unit. The items represent something that can't be kept in one person's wallet and handed around willy-nilly. So keep in mind the scale of everything in this game. All of us at West Coast Mega Games hope you have a fantastic time playing our version of Watch the Skies. We look forward to playing alongside with you. Remember, don't panic, and always remember to watch the skies.